Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a fragrance haul. It's very chaotic and all over the place, but I think it will be interesting, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm obsessed with everything Y2K. That is the era that stands out the most in my mind when I think about my childhood, like One Two Step by Sierra. Um, I didn't get to watch Jersey Shore because I was a little young when it first came out. I started watching it towards the end, but I kind of missed the whole context. But the reason I'm bringing that up is because I decided to get these Snooky Body Mist. And I know it's like super tacky, but it's everything Y2K. And I just thought I might love it. And I saw a lot of people saying that this is a dupe for Fantasy by Britney Spears but I actually think it smells nothing like it. I really, really like the opening. It's tropical, that's one of the accords in Fragrantica, but I'm not sure which note is supposed to be tropical. I think there's Keens, Kiwi, like literally almost the same notes as Fantasy, but it smells so different from Fantasy in my opinion. It's still like a fruity floral, it still smells like a Britney perfume, but it just doesn't smell like Fantasy. It's tartar because Fantasy does have a sour, tangy kiwi, but ultimately it's still very sweet because it has the cupcake and the vanilla. And I just see that fragrance more as a sweet scent. This has a tanginess to it. When I first smelled it, I thought it smelled like sweet tarts, but it's like that sour but sweet candy-like scent. I think this is a really cute cheapie. Um, it's not what I expected and it's not exactly what I wanted. So next up I have a Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and I don't believe this is available right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's been repackaged or whatever. I'm sure that it has. So I know that you guys probably can't get this right now like in store, but you can definitely find this on Mercari and Poshmark. Some people sell it for, you know, a crazy amount, but I got this for a pretty good deal, so I'm very happy about that. But the only reason I knew how this smelled is I found a fragrance oil, like, imitating this scent, and I really, really loved it. This is what I wanted Kais Perfumes Delizia de Marshmallow to smell like. It is definitely a softer scent. It's this powdery marshmallow. It smells like the dust that's left over in a bag of marshmallows. But I like it more than Delizia de Marshmallow because it is slightly sweeter. It just gives me that extra vanilla that I wanted from Kais. And it has, I think, magnolia and sandalwood, which I feel like just make it smell more perfumey. And it, it just has like this clean vibe to it. Like, I don't know, I've been wearing this to bed lately or just in the daytime if I want something very, very soft. Like, this is so inoffensive. I feel like if you're a nurse, you could wear this. I feel like if you are... I don't know, you have someone in the house who is sensitive to fragrances, I think that they would like this. So just to give you another reference point, the marshmallow in here is not a super, super sweet, gooey marshmallow like Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I love that fragrance, but this is a completely different marshmallow, more similar to the one in Delizia de Marshmallow or maybe even Killian Princess. Yeah, just without the tea note. So if you can get your hands on this, I really recommend it. I hope Bath & Body Works brings it back, whether it's in the same name or if they repackage it with a different name because it is so good. Next up, I have Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande. And I don't wanna dwell on this one too much because I do have a full review that I will link down below, but this is a super sweet, sugary pear musk fragrance. So it kind of reminds me of pear ink, but without like the Ambroxan and add a crap ton of sugar like seriously a crap ton because pear ink is more of like this fresh clean sophisticated fruity scent and this is like taking it to a whole nother level it kind of smells like candy so next up i have can can burlesque by paris hilton and i saw a lot of good reviews about this on fragrantica so i wanted to see if i was missing something because Paris Hilton scents are kind of hit or miss for me. Either they're really good or they're kind of generic smelling. When you first smell this, it's another candy-like type of scent. So I could smell this red fruit. Now I know it's raspberry. So if you really like raspberry, it's one of those sugary sweet raspberry, but like a raspberry candy, like a gummy. I wouldn't really say it's anything like raspberry jam donut or anything like that. Um, no, it's more of this chewy, candy-like raspberry scent. I'm young, but I think it's a little bit childish. Like, I love a sweet, fruity scent. I love 
gourmands, but I think that this is lacking some depth, like something else to it. Th that's the thing is like, I think it smells so good. I don't want to be too hard on it because it's not a niche fragrance or anything. Like I'm not expecting sophistication or, you know, something worth a higher price tag. So I think it's cute. It kind of reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret set, like a love spell or a pure seduction. It actually really reminds me of those. But imagine like one of those, but a raspberry version. Next up, I have Hugo Boss, the scent Private Accord. So I smelled this in an airport months ago, like maybe over a year ago. And I remember really liking it. The only problem was the longevity. I remember saying by the time I got to my gate, I couldn't smell it anymore. But then again, I don't know how much I applied, probably not a lot. So I was just in the mood to buy a perfume. So I said, I've been wanting this one for a while. I've just been itching to get it and I never pulled the trigger and I didn't know why. So one day I just finally did it and it's beautiful, honestly, it's stunning, but there's just one thing about the fragrance that bothers me and it's that it's quite powdery, especially on my skin. I feel like it's exacerbated. Like when I smell it from the atomizer, it actually smells stunningly perfect. It has that chocolate, but it's not a dark chocolate. It's not bitter. It's, but it's also not too sweet. And then it has that orange. So it kind of smells like maybe like a chocolate truffle with some orange. And again, the orange isn't super acidic. However, what's not balanced is, I think it's the tonka bean, which I'm a huge fan of tonka bean. I don't know if it's that actually, but there's just something making this fragrance way too powdery. And I like the powderiness at first, like, cause I don't mind a powdery fragrance, like a sweet powdery fragrance. I don't like baby powder. So this is, a sweet powdery fragrance, but it's just a little overboard to where it starts to smell like it's aged or like it's just a mature scent. Do you guys know what I mean? I feel like this fragrance had such potential to be perfect. It's honestly stunning. Like I just, I need to get over myself with the powdery aspect. I have the same issue with Lancome La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. There's also something else I didn't like about that fragrance, but it being so powdery was one of my issues. And then Hypnotic Poison. I really used to love Poison Girl, but lately it smells too powdery to me. I don't know if it's the rose. I don't know what's in these fragrances, but again, I don't mind a sweet powdery fragrance. Like I love Delina Exclusive, but I don't feel like they overdo it in that fragrance. I feel like it's very balanced. I feel like they did an amazing job with adding the chocolate, adding the orange, but then they kind of sabotaged it in my opinion with the powderiness but you guys let me know what you think about this scent i still think it's beautiful honestly but that's just something that i am having a hard time getting over next up is paco rabanne fame so i don't see a lot of people talking about this fragrance and that's why i was hesitant to check it out because initially i didn't like the bottle i really didn't i'm not like a robot girly i don't know it's just I thought it was just kind of weird looking, but now I think it's so cute, especially since I got the one ounce. It's just the cutest little thing. I don't know how my opinion did like a 180, but anyway. I had been having my eye on this for a while though, cause I knew it had a mango note. And I really feel like mango, I don't know if it's gonna have its moment in 2023, but I think it's gonna have its moment sometime soon in one of these upcoming years. So when I first smelled it, I wasn't getting mango because maybe I was expecting a sweet mango nectar like Mango Temptation from Victoria's Secret, but now I totally get the mango. But it has a tanginess to it. It's not super tangy like Mango Manga from Montel. I feel like, first of all, that fragrance has oud, so it's a much dirtier, almost rotten mango. So I don't wanna like, I don't wanna compare it too much to that, but in the opening before it goes dirty and rotten, it has a tangy, realistic mango. And I feel like that's what this is giving. And it's sweet too, like don't get me wrong, there's vanilla in here. The mango and the vanilla actually blend together so well. Like it's hard for me to tell if the sweetness is coming from the mango or if it's coming from the vanilla. And I think the florals in here work beautifully. I believe there's olibanum in it, which I can't remember if that's like a balsamic note or something. And I don't know what that smells like at the top of my head, but this has some character to it. It's not just a basic fruity floral. I mean, it is a fruity floral, but to me, it smells like it could be a niche fragrance. Like, I think that this smells really good, and I think it 
deserves a little bit more attention, more props. I think maybe people are looking past it because of the bottle. That's what I did for a long time. This is a cute little fragrance and I think I'm going to be wearing it quite a bit in the summer. Last but not least is Tiziana Terenzi's Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia, I really don't know how to say it. And this bottle, you guys, I love the details. The cap is really heavy. And I sampled this before I asked for it for Christmas. My boyfriend got it for me. I gave him the link to Joma Shop because I did not want him paying full price for this. So I he got it for a pretty good deal. Anyways, you guys, this fragrance is oftentimes compared to Fantasy by Britney Spears. And I see where they're coming from in the dry down. However, I would overall compare it more so to Intimate Fantasy, maybe like a blend of Intimate Fantasy with Fantasy, because Intimate Fantasy has a lemon. And it's not a Clorox lemon, it's not a super acidic lemon, it's just a beautiful tart lemon. And it still has that Fantasy DNA. And it just reminds me a little bit of Cassiopeia because this does, I think, have a lemon. If it doesn't, I would be shocked. I think it also has passion fruit. So it's like this fruity citrus opening. It also has like a little bit of greenness, but not overboard. And then in the dry down, it does start to smell like the fantasy DNA, which I honestly don't mind because it's beautiful, like not gonna lie. And I also adore the opening and I think it's much, much different from fantasy or even intimate fantasy. I see the similarities, but they're not dupes. If you don't want to buy this one, I feel like you could get one of those fantasies and get a similar vibe. But again, I don't think you'd be getting an actual dupe. The longevity on this is not great for me. Like I'll put it on and four hours later, I feel like I have to reapply. I could be going nose blind to it. Definitely fruity floral. I don't think it smells super niche as some people would say but i feel like it's worth the extra price tag not because of the longevity but just because it's beautifully composed like yes you can get the similarities to britney spears fragrances but it has its own thing going on i don't think it's a copycat i think that and if you look at the notes they're completely different so i don't think it was trying to go for that vibe all right you guys that was all for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you've tried any of these down below and your thoughts and i will catch you guys in my next video bye